Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am a rainbow clown. My name's Heather, this is my new channel. So if you're subscribed to my old one, give that one the old boot and give this one the old toot, you know what I mean? Today I have for you my month of August. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I know that I said this is August's video and I'm super sorry to inform you that I already lied to you 30 seconds into the video. This footage of me drawing Posy Frog is from the very end of July, okay? So close enough, right? Please forgive me. <laughs> I wanted to include this footage of me drawing one last wallpaper that I made for my patrons at the end of July. The theme for the month of July on my Patreon was Posy Frog. He was a positive frog who brought positive sentiments and hopefully brightened your day a little bit. And I always like to, if I can, include another wallpaper for my patrons during the month. So that's available for digital download if you're one of my patrons in the tomato baby tier, the $5 tier. I know I draw a lot of frogs, like I can't stop drawing frogs, right? So super sorry if you're sick of the frogs, but also not sorry at all. I'm glad I got to dedicate a whole month to frog theme. Um, you can see in the corner of my Procreate file here, I'm referencing the sticker of the month. The Posy Frog sticker of July it says, you got this. I really enjoyed what I did for the theme for August too. We started spooky season in August and I go through um, the wallpapers in the calendar that I made later in this video. I'm sorry I didn't have any time in August to make a second wallpaper like I did in July, but hopefully in September, there will be a couple more digital downloads for all my patrons. <music> Hi everybody, it's Sunday night. It's actually Sunday, July 31st, which means it's the last night of July. And tomorrow is the first day of August, which means Patreon 
wallpaper, there's two wallpapers, and the calendar for August will be getting posted. The background, the part that's like half tone, the gradient goes from pink to orange to light pink to red. And then it's like a half tone in the background. And then there's all this purple magic happening over it. But for the longest time, as I was working on this and coloring it, the background where that gradient and the half tone is was just like a lighter version of the purple. I'll show you what it looked like. And it just felt unseasoned. It felt bland. It was just kind of, uh, it's not bad. It, it doesn't look terrible, but there was something missing still. But simple solution, a gradient and a half tone, guys. Try it out sometime. So yeah, let me show you how to do a gradient half tone. Let's go. Okay, here's our um, blank canvas. You can choose any color you want. Let's just choose the colors that I did from my wallpaper. I'm gonna do it um, diagonally. Just all on the same layer because I don't give a fuck about that right now. <laughs> Chewy. Okay, so here's the gradient that I used in the background. What you're gonna wanna do is go to your, this like magic, what is that? It's a little bibbity bobbity boo it's a magic thing. And then you're gonna hit Gaussian Blur. And it says slide to adjust. So just with my pen from left to right on the screen, I slide to adjust the amount. It's up here, you can see. So I would probably do for this one like 47. All right. And then in the same fucking thing, you just hit half tone and the same thing, slide to adjust. It can get huge. It looks kind of cool. Maybe like right there. Ooh, you could, I mean, you just mess with it and you figure out what you want. Okay, half tone, 8%. There you go. And that's it. And that's that. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay, we're going to the Comedy Bang Bang Show. Hey, Nong Man. I hope we Man, laugh we're a lot. Chatting. <laughs> oh my god. Julian just stopped in the middle of the sidewalk to tie his shoe. Oh, yeah, Julian. You're guys. Can I take a picture? Here we go. on my mouth too, Julian. We're the same guy. What do you give the show out of two? A two. You give it a two out of two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give the show a two and our seats a one. Sorry. It's Monday. I'm about to pack June's Patreon rewards.
Le. Really, you know? Really, you know? Da 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 da. Ding 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 ding. Sketchbook time, baby! Sorry there's not a lot of sketchbook footage in this video, but I did have a whole sketching video come out this month, so you can check that out if you want to. But I just thought I'd include this little page. I had drawn this grid of color with my Posca markers, and then like two or three weeks later, I went back in and did this little drawing on top of it. Nothing crazy, you know me, just a little dandelion in the forest. I had done this technique in my sketchbook like a few months ago or whatever. I have no concept of time, honestly, where I had drawn with Posca's on the page and then drawn over them in black ink. And I just really like how that looks. And I don't know if I really like the grid per se of this one, um, but that's fine, whatever. Let's remember the sketchbook is shit town shitty time. We all know this by now. <laughs> I'm definitely planning on filming another all drawing all the time video coming up in September. So be on the lookout for that. I like to make sure I have at least like one video a month where it's like just drawing. At least that's the pattern that I've been doing for like the last two months. But you know what? Things change and I change my mind and I say things and then I don't do them or I um, you know, don't listen to me, okay? I'd also like to do another drawing requests video. I think I did one back in June or May. Like I said, I have no concept of time. I did one where I took suggestions from Instagram from you guys and that was fun. So maybe I can do that again at some point. Okay, after my Wednesday upload, like a week or two ago, whenever that was at this point, I got like six orders in my shop after that video went up. And I'm like, okay, so here's the part of the video that I think brought the people to my site and bought stuff. Here's my question though, to the public, to you watching, how come nobody buys these sticker sheets? This is, these are so cute. Are you kidding me? Look at how, these are so cute, come on. You need a little froggy sticker. You need a little potato sticker. Let's go, we'll order it. <laughs> no pressure really, honestly, but they're just, I, I love these stickers. They're so cute. Maybe I just need to promote them more. Maybe it's a me problem, hmm? So yeah, just like light bullying. Make people buy your shit. You're worth it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to correlate what it was about that video that Spark so many people to go to my shop and make a purchase. Thank you. Now don't forget, take your serotonin. my mom at the corner of the street here. My mom and Cosmo, of course. Usually Julian takes Ziggy and I take Paisley and Chewy, but Julian's at work. So I chose Ziggy and Paisley. And I left Chewy behind because, sorry Chewy, I had to pick somebody. <laughs> we all know this guy needs a walk more than anybody else in the entire world. <laughs> oh, who's that? <gasps> Ziggy, who's that? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>
want. Can you push the one mm -hmm. out of the screen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to save you. There you go. <laughs> You better practice. Okay, so like the text said, I'm working on a commission for Oat Milk Titty. That's their username, which I think is so cute and funny. You can find them on Instagram and TikTok. They make like drink content, you know, like barista lifestyle, coffee, cute caramel syrup, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. And I had made them a logo before, like maybe last year, I think, or the beginning of this year. Again, no concept of time, but they reached out to me again to make this like secondary logo with the OMT, oat milk titty, and this little like carton of oat milk on the side, which I thought was really cute. They wanted it to have a little smug expression. I am open for commissions, by the way. I don't really advertise it. I kind of just let people email me and be like, are you taking commissions? And I'm like, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> taking commissions and I would love to take more commissions like this. Anytime I get to draw something cute with a cute face, like that's my jam. That's what I want to do. And then she also asked me to draw this little oat with udders. Oh, no titty. Sometimes doing commissions is like a little bit difficult because I'm drawing something I normally wouldn't, but a commission like this is totally up my alley. So if you're looking for something like this, send me an email. We can talk. <laughs> It's Tuesday, August 23rd. Yesterday, I didn't really show any of this. 
I cleaned up and rearranged all of this yesterday. It was a mess, especially after the festival. I had never really cleaned up. My convention table stuff still stands intact. But yeah, I just like cleaned up this whole area up here. Oh, I put those up there too. I made this really shitty um, sticker roll holder. I just taped a bunch of huge popsicle sticks together and like cut out a divot in a box. Hey, but it works, look. Nice. I've also been trying to design some new products because I really want to have a shop update in September. I am trying to design a couple enamel pins. I put this poll up on my Instagram story today asking which colorway people like the best. So hopefully I can check in tomorrow with like the results of that. But then I've also been just this morning, um, I've been going through my sketchbook and like, um, I just took pictures. I didn't even scan it. I just took pictures and I'm cutting out individual little chunks of my sketchbook to make into a design and this is what I have so far and I'm thinking it would go really well on a tote bag so yeah let me know what you think of that I also want to make maybe something a little more simple a little more minimalistic maybe I don't know Fuck minimalism dude it's all about the maximalism around so I'm just trying to get my brain into some more making mode. It's kind of hard to do sometimes. But anyways, right now I'm about to go over to my friend Amy's house. We're gonna just like work alongside each other. Amy's been my friend since we were four years old. So we're kind of... Is the season. Even the energy drinks are in season. <laughs> studio vlog. I really hope you enjoy watching this and I will see you at the end of the video. ordered the screaming bat cat whatever you want them to be <laughs> cushy karopi an absolute classic and for freebies 
everybody gets a tiny knife. I'm running out of these. I need to change my freebie stickers soon. And I'm also, because they got a cushy karopi, I'm gonna throw in a little potted plant friend. Something new, I'm gonna throw in my business cards because I have so many of them and I want people to have them and see them. Should we do another freebie? Another karopi. Hee <laughs> hee. And my thank you note, which I'm also running out of. Oh, Jesus. So I should design a new spooky themed one for the season. In goes the thank you note. In goes the business card. Freebie karopi. Freebie potted plant. Freebie knife. And listen, folks, there's more in here than this person actually ordered. But you know what? I love my people, so I want to give them more. <laughs> nice little purple smiley face to seal the deal. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing my laundry, which is something I, I hate doing it. Julian's dad and grandpa get into town this afternoon. Normally it takes me like three days to do my laundry. And I know that sounds really dramatic, but I'll put my stuff in the wash and then I will forget about it for the entire day. And I'll be like, shit, it's still in the wash. And then I put it in the dryer and then I forget about it overnight. And then the next day I'm like, oh shit, my laundry. And so I put it in a bin and then I forget about it for the whole day. I don't want to fold it. I don't want to put it away. So yeah, this, I have to do this all today, which I'm doing so far. Look at me. Anyways. Ooh, the laundry's so warm, it feels good. Um, I'm gonna try to finish this right now and prove to myself that it doesn't have to take all day. No, it only needs to take as long as the machines take to wash and dry, and as long as it takes my dumb little hands to fold my dumb little laundry. But yeah, Julian's dad and grandpa are coming into town tonight, and... Uh, Excuse me. And I'm very happy about it because Julian's mom and that side of the family was just here. And now his dad and his dad's dad um, get to visit too. <laughs> Um, hey, I did all my laundry, so that's positive. That's so cool, thank you for helping me. <laughs> well, yesterday I created this final file to be sent to the vendor. I'm getting these made through Wizard Pins. I highly recommend them. This is, I shared this with my patrons, this image. This is just how I lay out my file for the vendor. As you can see, my logo will be on the back. These are the four colors, the middle, and um, yeah, this pin will be hopefully coming soon. I also yesterday ordered this design uh, on a tote bag. I wanted the design to be like truly what the sketchbook looks like. So there's just like, I don't know. There's just kind of like dumb pieces in here of like, it doesn't necessarily make sense, but I think together like it all looks cool and it like represents my sketchbook really well, which I don't have like any merch that really does that kind of stuff. And I also made a checklist of all the products that I want to have in my shop update. Tote bag is on there and a pin. I wanna do like two more pin designs, I think. I'm gonna check those off on there. I got those ordered and um, yeah, I can't wait to see them. Hopefully they turn out all right. Drew, you're so cute. <laughs> you're the cutest. Oh my God. Okay, so here's the look for tonight. I put my chain necklace onto the shorts. So I'm like a cool guy, you know? Um, I'm wearing these fun socks that have smiley faces on them. Oh, nice bruise. Hey, nice bruise. I got some butterfly clips in my hair. My cool watch that my dad just gave me. That was my grandpa's. Just some casual rings, you know? That's my outfit for dinner, so. Okay, everyone, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. If you made it this far, 
give the video a like, baby, if you haven't already. And comment down below what you're going to be for Halloween. And if you don't know yet, tell me what you were last year. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye!